it's Kat right here. So today for the project I'm doing is I'm spraying my lawn and filled with 2,4-D. 2,4-D is a chemical that will not kill grass, but it will kill weeds. And it's very safe for people and animals. We have uh, two dogs, a cat and a chicken, and I feel very comfortable spraying this on our grass you just got to make sure that lots animals of chickens don't go on the grass for probably the rest of the day or a couple hours after you spray while it's still wet you only have one chicken no you said one chicken oh did i say one chicken yeah. lots of chickens like 10 chickens okay we had one um oh god that one's getting out of the coop but anyway, now I will show you how to mix this and explain a little bit about the 240. Okay, so um, 24D is a very wonderful chemical. There are many, many different kinds of brands and different stuff that you bought. We just have this We Be God one. Be gone, <laughs> sorry. And with this one, you do two fluid ounces um, per gallon. And I have this, this really cool is a backpack with the hand sprayer. That's the way I like to do it is in the liquid. In this, uh, I'm gonna mi mix four gallons because this will hold four gallons. So let's get this mixed and I'll do the spraying. So this is my mixer and I'm gonna do two ounces, like I said before, per gallon, and this is four gallons, so I'm gonna do eight ounces. Do, 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 the water's filling up. Crazy thing about this is sometimes if you put the ounces in first in the chemical and you go to spray it, it bubbles like mad. So sometimes it's actually better to put a lot of the water in than do the chemicals so it doesn't bu bubble. It's not bubbling too terrible. <laughs> this is a little bit difficult. You gotta be really careful as you're trying to balance this thing. Cause it's heavy. That's why it's a backpack. There she is. She's the Ghostbuster. I am She's the warrior ready. against those weeds. Man, those dandelion weeds. I don't <laughs> like those things. So with this one, you have to kind of pump it to create the pressure in there, and then you spray it. So this is our backyard. Used to be a yard with some horses, but we've kind of turned it into just a field that we can play in. But definitely have to put a lot of attention into keeping those weeds out, because the weeds will come, and they will come strong if you don't. So when you're doing this, it's the very best way to do it going backwards and kind of go back and forth like this so it spreads and you're not walking into it. This is my gun and Josh and Shiloh are both gaming boys and they have their game guns and this is my gun, oh yes. One thing about the 2,4-D that's a lot like many other chemicals is just keep it off your skin. And you want to wear the gloves anytime you're dealing with it. And if it does get on your skin, go and rinse it off. Once you've sprayed it and it's kind of not moist anymore, you don't have to worry about it too much, but keep it off the skin as much as you can. Okay, I am all done with my 2,4-D project. This is so great. So I like to spray my field and my grass twice a year. I do it in the spring and the fall, and if you do that, it will take care of those dandelions. And to tell you the truth, I've also sprayed my neighbor's field once or twice because she struggles to get out there. She's kind of a little bit 
older, so I'm happy to take care of her weeds if it's gonna keep them from getting in my grass. So thanks for being with me. Now that I'm done with the project, I'm gonna go have some fun. I was thinking I might have a fire out here, but it was raining earlier. It's a tiny bit damp, so I think we're gonna go watch a movie. So if you liked this video, like it, subscribe, hit that notification bell. We'll see you on the next project.